Hey guys, if you are looking for a yoga workout to help with your hip flexibility, to strengthen your knees, you're in the right place. This is going to help your hip strength, your hip flexibility. It's also going to work on your balance so that we can help make your knees feel better while they exercise with less discomfort. You're also going to help prevent injury there. This routine is beginner friendly, no yoga experience required. Just do your best and follow along. This video is also sponsored by Roan. You can use the code MANFULYOGA for 15% savings on your purchase at Roan.com. Let's get started with high lunge. So for the high lunge, you're gonna step your right leg forward and your left leg back. All 10 toes are facing straight forward. If you're new to this, it helps to bend your back knee. So we're gonna ease into your hip flexibility here. Make sure that your shoulders are above your hips. And you should be feeling this weight evenly in your ankles, your knees, your hips, and your core. So we want everything involved here. From here, we're gonna squeeze our legs toward one another to add some strength. So my right foot squeezes back, my left foot squeezes forward. And now we're feeling a stretch through the front of the left hip flexors. We've got the thighs, the hips working, the feet and the ankles are working to help hold myself up. And then I'm gonna bring my arms up into a Y. And you can spread your arms a little wide here. You don't have to keep them straight overhead. Just make sure your shoulders are comfortable. And we're just here for about 45 seconds. Try to breathe in and out of your nose. And as you exhale, you might be able to notice you go deeper into the pose. See if you can straighten that back leg and make the stretch a little bit more intense for these last 10 seconds. And then relax, go ahead and stand back up and we'll switch sides. So big step back with my right foot now. The knee is above the ankle in the front foot, starting with the back knee slightly bent, so I can ease into this. Shoulders above the hips, ribs lifted away from the hips so I'm nice and tall. Proud chest, good posture. You're gonna squeeze your front foot forward, squeeze your, sorry, back foot forward, and squeeze your front foot back. Arms come up, and as you exhale, working on getting deeper into the pose. If you notice that you're really not moving much in this pose, if you're not going deeper as you hold it, that's okay. It's just gonna take some time to build that flexibility. If you can do these exercises three times per week, then you're really going to notice the improvement. You also wanna make sure that you're getting up and moving more frequently. Try not to sit as much. One more breath here. All right, go ahead and release and stand up. From here, we're moving into a wide-legged forward fold. Guys, this routine is quick, by the way. It's not too long, so try and do the whole thing. We're gonna go through a lot of exercises here that are really good for your knees. So this wide-legged forward fold, you're gonna turn your toes slightly in. I like to bend my knees to start. Push into the outer edges of your feet, and then hinge at your hips just until you feel stretch through the backs of your thighs. So the inner thighs and your hamstrings are stretching and I'm keeping my back flat. So if you look at me from the side, you wanna make sure that the back is flat, not making a C shape with the spine and you can bend your knees to help with that. As you exhale, maybe you hinge a little bit more, but keep the focus on your inner thighs and your hamstrings. Don't worry about getting your hands to the ground. That's just something that happens when your hamstrings and your inner thighs are flexible. It's not the goal, the goal is stretching the right areas. And then the benefits will follow and you'll get more flexible with time. Last breath here. All right, then go ahead and come back up. Stay in that wide stance position. From here we're gonna move into a warrior two. This is a quintessential yoga pose, really good for your groin, for your hips, and that's gonna help your knees tremendously. So you're gonna turn your right foot to face the top of the mat, or the bottom of the mat, depending on where you're facing. Your back foot is turned in slightly, and you're gonna bend into that front knee, pushing your back hip into your front hip, tracking your knees over the middle toe. Shoulders stay above the hips, make sure you're not reaching forward or leaning forward. And as you exhale, maybe sinking deeper into this pose. This does take a lot of strength and mobility. So if you're finding that your back is poking up behind you, your butt's poking up behind you, bring your legs a little bit closer together. From here, we're gonna move into a side angle. Bring your right wrist inside your right knee, extend your left arm up, 
and make your chest as big as possible. This is a hip focused stretch, but as far as this workout goes, but we can add in some spine and chest work here as well. So pressing your arms in opposite directions, squeezing that left arm back, and then really allowing your hips to sink into this. Try to keep your chest upright, don't let it sink down. You've got one more breath here. All right, from here, all you're gonna do is straighten that front leg. So push your front hip into your back hip until you feel a stretch in your inner thigh. Keep in mind, you might not be as flexible as me yet, so you might not have to straighten the leg that much. If you want to, you can hold on to your right shin for a little bit of support, but try to keep that shoulder rolled back. And think about pressing your hips forward in the direction that they're facing, so toward the side of the mat. Three breaths here, and the breathing is longer. In yoga, you might notice that. You wanna try and breathe slowly in and out of your nose as you're doing these routines. That's gonna help you with increasing your flexibility more. The breath controls the body. When you're relaxed, your muscles can relax and stretch. It's also gonna help you pose, hold the pose for a longer time as we work on our strength. All right, bend back into a warrior two so that knee comes back above the ankle. Left hip presses into the right hip. Arms come up in opposite directions. Right hand reaching forward, left hand pressing back. And then just two breaths here, allowing your hips to sink down, squeezing your back thigh. Going a little bit deeper with this last exhale. And then straightening that leg, we're gonna pivot and switch sides. So turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot to face the top of the mat. Squeeze your back thigh, make sure that knee is locked out. Push your right hip into your left hip. Knee tracks over the middle toes. Squeeze your thighs. And then it helps here to bring your left hand to the inside of your knee and just kind of poke that to the outside. You wanna make sure your knee isn't caving in. So you'll feel your glutes working as you do that. And then as you hold this with strength, you can go deeper. Bring that left wrist inside the knee, extend your right arm up, coming into side angle. Side angle is nice because we can really work on this groin mobility. So allow your hips to sink down. Yes, it's gonna tank some strength, but it is just your body weight and it's gonna be over before you know it. So hold here for two more breaths. Go deeper with that exhale. Keep that back leg strong. Push into the outer edge of the back foot. Really extend with your arms, get big. And then move into triangle. Push your back hip into your front hip. Try to keep your core and your hips working here, holding yourself with strength. Remember, if you can work on the strength here and do the pros properly, that flexibility is going to follow. So your left wrist can rest, left hand can rest on your left shin. You can also place it inside the ankle if you wanna make this a little more active. As you exhale, roll back that shoulder, maybe straighten the leg a little bit more, targeting your inner left thigh here. One more breath. And then come back to warrior two, press your back hip into your front hip, straighten that back leg, really squeezing your quadriceps. Arms come out in opposite directions. Pressing your hands in opposite directions, pulling your shoulder blades together so the chest is open and then using your breath to sink deeper into this. Try to keep the weight centered in your hips. So keeping your core strong. And again, lots of stretching through the groin. Last little breath. And then straighten that leg. Turn your feet in, bring your legs back together. One little quick pose here. We're gonna work on your balance, work on your hamstrings. So you're gonna bring your right leg forward, left leg back. All 10 toes facing forward, arms along your sides. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, I want you to be an airplane. Okay, so push down through that front foot, lift your back leg, point the toes, bring your arms along your sides, and look somewhere forward and down in front of you. Keep your chest upright. The goal here is to make yourself into a T shape with your body, but that's gonna take some time, so just work on the balance here. Do your best to square your hips. Really press down through the front foot. Bending your knee as much as you need to so that you can maintain this position with your back flat. Lots of hamstring stretching, lots of work through the whole leg. 
One more breath here. Keep the toes pointed. Keep your chest pulling forward. And then come back to that lunge position. And we'll switch sides. Last side. Last pose, guys. So you're almost done here. Great work. Left leg is forward, right leg back, arms along your sides. As you exhale, lean forward, put that weight into the front foot, lift your back leg, point the toes. Look at a non-moving point in front of you. Again, the goal here is to make a T-shape with your body. You can bend your knees to get started, straightening your legs just as much as you need to to feel a nice stretch through your hamstrings. Look at that non-moving point in front of you for balance, support. Continue to breathe. Stay active through your legs, your arms, your chest. Get longer. Last breath here. And go ahead and come out of that. Guys, great job with that workout. If you're looking for another similar routine, I have a really fun 10-minute workout to help you build full body strength. It's here for free on the Manful Yoga YouTube channel. You can click here to check that out now. We also have more of these free workouts coming out every Tuesday at 9 a.m. So be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those. Uh, big shout out to Roan. Thank you guys for the opportunity to do this. Um, you can use the code MANFULYOGA for 15% savings at roan.com. Like the video, leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video.